When it comes to understanding how to develop successful strategies in social media marketing, you need to transform your thinking from the traditional way of measuring advertising success. When it comes to social medias, the primary issue is the investments that companies made in the conversation between them and their customers. Instead of ads, start thinking social media as the conversation between you and your customer or stakeholders. Conversations can take many forms, especially in the online communities. From videos, podcasts, and photos, to message on forums, to tagging and friending on social network networks. All these forms of social media offer some way to communicate and building relationship with one or many people. Social media allow people to engage and share, and it all depends on your conversations. Being active in conversations and responding to what you are monitoring in a respectful fashion. You will gain your company respect, trust, and a certain amount of authorities from your audience. When you set out on your trips, you have an ending point on the map. That is your goal, your destinations. Marketing in social media is no different, except that your strategy could include many different types of goal that you are aiming to attain. Without those goals, without those goals predefined, how do you know whether your strategy was a success? You can measure many more metrics, although doing so can get quite resources intensive. Senior management rely on clear, concise measurability when it comes to deeming something a true success. Social media marketing tend to be less concrete than other online efforts, such as search engine optimization or SEO or, and pay-per-click pay or PPC. With the SEO and PPC, it's very clear what happened. A person search on a site such as Google, Yahoo, the site return results. The person then click on a result, land on a particular website, and either perform an action, go back to the search result, or simply he gave up. All these actions are measurable. That's just how effective the marketing effort were to get the person to perform the desired actions. When the rise of sites that allow users to generate their own content related to hobbies, passions, concerns, and complaints, companies have to think beyond their own website when measuring their marketing strategies, success, and failures. This rise in areas where a company have less control over how their careful craft messages are delivered, can be a little intimidating to even the savviest marketers. How do you measure success on a website that isn't you owned or that you don't have the ability to control or see behind the scene? To a large extent, Consumer on a social media site have the ability to control who and what is marketed in their directions. 
because consumer can comment on your products and services. They can ask questions, post reviews, and shut you out altogether if they so choose. Company attempting to market in any social media site need to learn how to best measure success and failures, as well as manage their resources and strategies. Most of the creation of user-generated content happen on social media sites that is owned by a completely different entity. For example, Facebook. Facebook belongs to the Facebook Inc. So a lot of measuring of success or failure with social media strategy tend to be more manual in process. Because this site are owned by someone else. Companies usually are not allowing to behind the scene measurement, ma measurements of community member actions as they are on their own. Therefore, every action that can be measured by a company planning a strategy in a social media community is public. Meaning that just as the community sees what happens, so do the company. What this means is, what if your measurement include how many fans, friends you have acquired, or how many posts on your wall occurred in Facebook? The public can see those, these actions as well as your company. And also be careful, your competitor can see it also. So, developing conversations within social media sites that have active participants who are interested in your industry, your products, service, or brands is essential in developing the trust that go into building solid, reliable relationships. By building these types of relationships and sharing the experience, you gain a trustworthy foothold within the communities. This is essential when both good or bad things happen. Social media and word of mouth marketing are inextricable intervenes. People talk, people recommend, people suggest. They recommend products and services to their business associates, family, friends, neighbors, and others in the social media circles. They even talk to complete strangers. They share their experience with products, brands, services, events, and so on. And if they are well connected, they can touch hundreds and sometimes thousands of people just by having a conversation that shares their own experience. So where do you start? How do you start developing conversation that will actually garner your company some type of return on your effort? You start by monitoring your brand, your products and services keywords. You can use bus monitoring tool for this. Google Alert is a free tool offered by Google. By using Google Alert, you can manually determine which keyword to monitor. The service will periodically return information that is a URL of the site that have mentioned the keyword you are monitoring. Very rarely does one conversation 
have an immediate return on investment. Most people do not have a conversation with one person and they go to Walmart and buy their new wash washers and drive set, driver set. With so many avenues of information available, the average person listens to a neighbor and then go to Amazon, Epians, or Yahoo Answers in search of more relevant information to back up at, and debunk the neighbor's review. This is why monitoring more than just one source is vital and why recognizing that human does not stick to just one site is vitally important to understanding how conversation migrate and propagate throughout social media. Conversations are constantly going on. They happen in Twitters, on YouTubes, in forums, and on Facebooks and other sites. People love to connect and discuss topics that appear to them. They also love to share common commonalities and debate difference. But the question is, should you jump in when it comes to rep representing a company instead of a certain a single person? It's always wise to first watch the conversation and get a feel for who's participating and how open they are. Social media community members use text to make it easier to follow a particular conversation, not just in text and not just in Twitter, but across other social media platforms such as Flickr and YouTube. In finding these individuals, you open the door for creating more trusted relationship built around common subjects. The success in social medias, you not only need to hold real conversations, but you need to hold those conversations with the right people. That means you need to know who your audience is and what that audience is doing in the social media space. You have to go where your, your target audience is engaged and holding a conversation if you want to see some, some real progress from your efforts. Most companies have a pretty good handle on who their target audience is. A lot of research go into understanding who is buying the products or service and why. This research help a company develop its marketing strategies and finely tuned messages for, their, for the right person so that they are more likely to respond in the manner the company envisions. The carefully crafted messages speak to a highly refined demographics that the company believes is the most receptive. Taking the time to understand who your audience members are making it easier to figure out what they are doing. Knowing what your audience is doing can save your company time, resources, and money when implementing social media strategies. By taking the time to listen to the entire bus around, not only you and your brand terms, but the industry you are in, you will be able to get a better handle on where you should be holding your conversations and how you should be holding them. Most traditional marketers would like to believe that this demographic 
information transfers directly to the online world from the offline world. But sometimes the audience changes, especially when moving to an online environment. Finding where your audience is and what its members are doing in social media isn't exactly easy. It takes some time and research to understand where the conversations are being held. Sometimes the conversations are happening in multiple places. See, most people does not settle for just one social media platform. Understanding all this research on where your audience is and who they are might seem like daunting task that some resources can help. In a book, Groundswell, written by Charles Ch Charlene Lee and Josh Bernoff, the authors identified six distinct groups in social media based on their actions on different social media platforms. They are creators, critics, collectors, joiner, spectator, spectators, and finally, the inactives. First, the creator. Creators are socially active people who create blogs, videos, wikis, forums, and so on. These people are enthusiastic about their hobbies, passions, dislikes, or love of a product, brand, or services. They are taking it to the next level by creating something dedicated to make conversation about it and sharing their experience with others. Creators tend to hold a lot of influence over their audience and are seen as the authority on their content because they are care. So because they are so care, so passionate about something that they research and vest information for others. Second, critiques. Critiques are active in social media by commenting on blogs, written reviews about products, services, and responding to threats in forums. Critiques also like to rate products, services, and so on. Critics are quite vocal on social media about, about their opinions and want those opinions to be heard. Although the terms critiques can carry a negative con 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 notions, connotations, it doesn't mean that this type of person is a bad thing to dealing with. Critics can be some of your better allies, especially if you have a great customer services department, are a beloved brand or products or services that your customer find valuable. Even if the expression is negative, you have the opportunity to turn vocal critics into your greatest evangelist. Third, the collectors. Collectors love to find and share things on the internet. They collect bookmarks and submit them to social news sites. This group of social media users tend to be dedicated to bookmarking sites such as Delicious or submitting stories to sites such as Dix. Collectors sometimes are known as power users. 
require a lot of inference on how fast a submission can be become popular and be pushed to a position of prominent on the community site. Depending on the site, collector can potentially generate a lot of traffic in a short amount of time, especially if the collector have dedicated to bookmark or submit your content and share it with friends or the entire community on a popular site. The fourth is Joiner. Joiner interact in place such as Facebook, MySpace, and LinkedIn, or within a forums or message board. This is where real communication and groups develop and where they hold conversation and share their experience about certain topics. So joiner want to feel like they belong to something. Joining networks and community forums make them feel connected to people who are a thousand miles away or more and, and more and who love to share their experience about a shared topics. These networks, whether they are Nikki networks create on popular Nin products or a Facebook group allow people to connect with one another in way they cannot in their lives away from internet. This ability to connect with many people over great distance is a huge draw for joiners. The next is spectators. Spectators love to sit back and watch. They are avid blog readers and most likely have a feed reader. They will make a friend of CNN or ESPN in Twitter so they can follow their news update while they follow their own friends in Twitter. Spectator also reads ratings and review and can come to a conclusion based on those reviews. Whether or not you as a company are actively involved in those conversations. Basically, a spectator a spectator is someone you will always have in your audience in some form. The last one is inactive. This classification is as simple as it sounds. Basically, these, are peop these people are on the internet but are not, are not, your, are not yet participating in social media. This generally tend to school to an old crowd. However, as in all things, that demographic is changing too. Many companies think they can bypass the research part of knowing where their audience is and what they are doing. This can lead to failure in social media as well as pretty public pretty public and embarrassing mistakes. The following example demonstrate common missteps company take in social media. As you will see, this company's biggest missteps was not really knowing what their audience is holding, where they are hanging out. In April of 2009, Pizza Hut announced they were looking for a Twitter to reach out to the college college age demographic. Unfortunately, they cannot understand their demographic of choose wasn't active on Twitter. A simple look at the demographic of college age students are overwhelming joiners, not creators. That means this group is very active on places such as Facebook, Foursquares, and MySpace, 
but they are not as active creating content in on Twitter. What was even more surprising was that there was a lot of conversation happening on Pizza Hut's fan page on Facebook. But Pizza Hut was not even participating in those conversations. Opportunity to create evangelists such as person who post I feel at home at Pizza Hut was sleep, sleeping by. Pizza Hut also missed opportunity to control some embarrassing and vulgar war post because they weren't active participating on their own fan page on Facebook. Understanding where your audience is and what they are doing in social media circle is at the foundation of whether the social media strategy you implement is successful or not. Instead of being lured in by the newest, coolest, and hippest tools, such as Pizza Hut was with Twitter, just take the time to know whether your audience that you are targeting is actually participating in that social media community or not. Taking the time to research and understand what your audience is doing in social media help you succeed. It will also help you with your bottom line. Your resources will be better utilized and not wasted in areas that will only end up drawing your team's time and effort on tactics that wasn't bare success in the end. Thank you for your listening.